Hey everybody, Ben here from the Bonehead Podcast and welcome to Humans Starting Rosters. So we are looking at all the teams that were spoiled in the Blood Bowl 2020 rulebook and we are putting together rosters for you to start your league. So we're aiming at 1 million builds. We're not going to go too much into skills or how to progress the team unless it's important. We're just looking at what you can start your league off with. the changes to the human roster so on the whole i think humans got a little bit better hear me out throwers got 10k more expensive but they are one of the best throwers in the game now which is absolutely crazy so the passing stat was introduced and it changed up a bunch of players and realistically it decreased passing across the board however the human thrower kept pass kept sure hands and now has a passing of two plus in old money, that means the human thrower is agility 4 when it comes to throwing. That makes it one of the best players in the game, which is why it's gone up, which is very much, I think, worthwhile. Uh, it also maintains general and passing on a primary. So you can sneak in a leader reroll if you need to, although humans are plenty cheap, so you shouldn't need that. Uh, catchers have gone up 5k a piece as well, and blitzers have gone down 5k, and most importantly of all, I think... Um, <laughs> They get an extra element in they can take up to three halflings so you do have the ogre the ogre has throw teammate now you can sneak those halflings onto your roster they're bog standard halflings no loner you can throw them you can do crazy shenanigans they've bumped humans up to tier one because of it it remains to be seen as to whether they can hold their own against dark elves wood elves and skaven uh, but i definitely think humans who were to be fair a very solid team before now have something else to buy in the long run. On the passing stats though, human linemen 4+, plus, throwers 2+, plus, catchers 5+, plus, blitzers, halflings 4+, plus a piece, and ogres on a 5+. plus. So across the board they're not bad, everybody's got agility 3 except for the ogre who's agility 4, so they can still do an absolute bunch of stuff. So humans have gone from being good at everything to actually good at everything. So because humans have got such variety in their roster builds, we've got four for you here. Now, we're going to look at different things that they can do and different ways to build your starting 1 million, but relatively quite a cheap roster. So you will be able to get most of what you want uh, from the start, really, to be honest with you. Okay, first one up is the Ogre Mix build. So one Ogre, four Blitzers. That is a ton of punch there, guys. That's a strength five beast and four blockers. Okay, the human blitzer is an underrated player. Movement 7, strength 3, agility 3 plus, passing 4 plus, armor 9 plus, block, general strength. It's a heck of a player type. That combined with an ogre, so four blitzers and an ogre, is an incredible offense. Okay, we've got one throw on this roster as well. We've already talked about 2 plus uh, for passing, but also 3 plus agility means that that sure hands is going to come in handy if you're willing to risk 3 plus sure hands, of course. Five linemen as well, and one halfling with three rerolls. So you get all your three rerolls, okay? It's the start of a league. The things you're missing, a second thrower, which I do possibly recommend down the line, uh, and no catches at all. But you've got a halfling there. So you've got five good combat players, and you've got, uh, you've got the opportunity to throw a teammate as well. So I think this is going to be one of the one of the premier builds for humans now uh, because you can get it all in there you're not missing out on anything except the catchers and they are 65k so by the end of your second game you'll be able to pick one of those up without uh, without too much difficulty the roster comes to 990 so you've got 10k left over probably pick up a dedicated fans okay the second roster that we have for you is the no ogre mix build so we've looked at the ogre mix we're now looking at what you can take if you don't take that ogre so you still got four blitzers and the thrower don't underestimate those four blitzers the thrower is there to do exactly the same thing but this time it's got some better passing targets this roster six linemen uh, and bringing it up to 13 players we've got two catchers for this team so human catchers let's just uh is that right no ogre mix build, no ogre mix build. Yeah, 13 players, three rerolls for a thousand TV. So this is one million. This is all your money gone. However, you got 13 players there. Okay, two of them are strength two, being the catchers. 
but you've got enough bench that you don't have to deploy them unless you need to or unless somebody goes down. So catches, movement 8, strength 2, agility 3+, plus, passing 5+, plus, so not so good at throwing, uh, armor 8+, plus, and catch and dodge. They are... Don't underestimate the human catchers either. They're no pro elves by a lot by by any means. However, that movement eight really does give you a great dynamism about it. I remember in uh, in the last season, uh, Rich was tempted to take a catcher, but wasn't that fussed about throwing. And I was like, dude, 65k movement eight. You got a great runner, and also a really mobile support piece or a fowler. So this roster having two catchers that you can bring in off the bench means that on offense you can have two. Movement 8, catch, dodge targets. On defense, you don't need to deploy them at all. With three rerolls as well. So this is the other premium roster. I think I prefer the other one. Uh, you get more bash. This one, you get more dash. And talking of dash, if you want to make the most of the human thrower and the human catchers, we've got a throw-heavy build for you here. So you drop a second reroll. And the reason you can kind of get away with it this build is you've got four blitzers, You've got block. You should be able to maneuver them so that you're making favorable blocks, but you've got those two rerolls. You've got two throwers now. So they are 30k more than alignment, but they are significantly better. Having that pass two plus and sure hands means you've got two thrower pieces you can do whatever you like with. You've got three catchers and three linemen. So that takes you to 12 players. So you've got a catcher in reserve, basically. Overall, you are less strong literally less strong you've got three strength two players but you've also got three the movement eight players and the other twist to this is drop a catcher or drop a lineman pick up that third re-roll um but then you are very vulnerable or and this is the funny thing you can drop a catcher and take two halflings so you've got two catchers and then you've got 14 players uh, not 14 players how many have we got 10 12 13 13 players two of them are hobbits two of them are halflings and the uh the stunty dodge the stunties are not just there to be thrown okay i've played enough of snotling teams to know that uh <laughs> just just stunty dodge shenanigans can win you anything and just imagine like a halfling in a blitzer cage he's just gonna run on through so that was a bit of an extreme roster. We've got a more sensible one here. This one is uh, for the conservatives out there or those who really want to um, be as consistent as possible. So with humans, their rerolls are 50k. You do have the option to take and start with all four. Now, I can't imagine you're ever going to need more than four. Four blitzers, one thrower, two catchers, five linemen. So that leaves you with 12 players and... Uh, let me just check. Yeah, it leaves you with 12 players. No cash to spare. So you're going to always have to deploy at least one of your catches. So it's a little a little weaker, but you've got four rerolls. Now, you don't have to take those rerolls. One of those rerolls could become an apothecary. But what this does do is it gives you a bit of all the human core team. So you've got that 50k for either an apothecary to keep them alive or those rerolls to really push your limits with this human team. They've got the blitzers, they're going to be brawling. They've got throwers, they've got catchers, they can manoeuvre the ball. Don't get me wrong. Human rushers, the blitzers are great rushers, okay? So you've got a whole ton. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven really good offensive players, either combat. Oh, blitzers, movement, seven. You've got six movement, seven or eight players here. This becomes a really fast team. And you've got the re-rolls to follow up on whatever it is you want to do. If you want to take the cheeky one-die blitz, if you want to dodge with a blitzer and they don't have dodge yet, you've got the re-rolls to make those risky plays and hopefully keep you alive to combat whatever you're trying to do. I think the human roster got really interesting. It, it feels solid. Um technically they've been downgraded the passing across the board has got worse but i think from going through all these team lists they have not suffered as much as some of the other teams and humans have got their little linchpin pieces the blitzers are still brilliant throwers are the one of the best throwers in the game got called out on stream i think for saying that every single time but they are one of the, they've got passing two plus they're 80k they're not and sure hands okay it's just such a superb piece You've got the catchers who are strength two, but they're 65k and they're movement eight. You could line up four catchers here with a very small amount of expenditure and just go play 
wide receiver with them if you wanted to. Anyway, to summarize, humans you can do a load with. If I had to pick a team, I would probably pick the Ogre Mix build. I think it, um, it's just got so much strength and so much consistency with a lot of the fun aspect because you still got that throw teammate angle as well. If I was going to go with a human build, it might be, it might very well be the Ogamix build. Uh, I don't know. I think I might have talked myself into the catches now as well, because the humans should have a pretty solid throwing game, which I wasn't really expecting going into this edition. Anyway, let me know in the comments below what you think of these rosters, what your human build is going to be, and uh, how well you think humans are going to shape up in the new meta. Anyway, thanks very much for joining me, and I will catch you again soon.